Alrighty, Hosses. The next thing I want to talk to you about are tables. Now, you can actually have a bunch of different tables, and I'm going to be showing you guys a couple different ones. But for now, this thing auto corrects on me like different every single time. It's kind of ticking me off. About to drop kick my computer. Alright, so I first want to show you guys a simple table, and then I'm going to show you a condensed table and a straight table. And there are a couple other ones, but if you just want to look at the documentation, once you learn the basics of how they work, then it's probably a little bit easier. So anytime you make a table, you got to set its class. The generic class is just table. And inside the table, you're going to have a bunch of rows. And in those rows, you can make your columns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to separate this into a table head and the table body. Now the table head is good whenever you just want to label the columns so you actually know what you know the information in your table is about. So inside here this is where we're going to make the rows. If I can type, are you serious? Oh my god. Alright, now inside your rows, see that? Pops up at the stupidest freaking time. I'm really getting kind of ticked off. Not that tipped off though. I think I'm overreacting a little bit. Alright, so we'll have a column for name and uh, we'll say that this is, uh, I don't know, a game and we're storing the user's points. Sounds like a uh, pretty random idea, but hey, that's what I'm going with. Now, after the head, you can make the body. So, T body. And you just have regular table rows in here. And inside your table rows, you have a bunch of data. So the first one will be, what's the name of the first person? Bucky Roberts. That sounds like a pretty cool dude. And then what's the next column? Age and points. So how old am I? I am actually 74 years old. And how many points do I have in whatever the heck game we're playing? 8,760. I'm pretty good at this game. And let's see, let's have one other, actually let's have two other people. Um, this guy could be Turd McGurd. That sounds like a realistic person. And he or she is 13 and they only have 5 points. They suck. And let's have one more so we actually have some cool data to look at. Um, this is... Ch -ch 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 I don't know. It's a foreign name, but <laughs> that's all I could think of right now. And they are 18 and they also... Actually, let's give them... 32 points. Alright, so that's your basics of a table. Now if I run this, check it out. So this is your generic table. Here's your header and there is all your data. And now let me show you guys the difference between this. Actually, let's tighten this up a little bit. And we'll keep this one too. So the other one, what can I show you next? I'll say condensed. Now, I actually like condensed tables a lot. They're my favorite because if you look at this one, everything's kind of big and spaced out. And whenever you have a table, you're usually looking at some kind of data and you want to see it, you know, kind of tight together. At least I do. So condensed and might as well create the other one right now. And this is striped show you guys what that does alright so as you can see I messed something up and that is because yep I need to put the name table and then copy that because we're actually using two classes so this first class just says okay this is a bootstrap table and the second one says how do you want to style it overriding the default styling now hopefully this works and there we go so this first one is just your generic one, that's your starting point. I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference, but the condensed table right here, it has half the padding of this. So I just like it because it's a little bit easier to read when um, all these elements are kind of grouped together, bunched together a little bit tighter. And this last one, I don't know if you guys could tell, but these rows have a little tint to them. So this one's kind of gray, this is white gray and they would alternate if I had some more so when you have a huge list 
of items in your table, it's a little bit easier to differentiate between each individual row. So there you go. That is what tables are. And if we can see what happens whenever we condense this, well, it looks good on any size device. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, you now know how to make tables. And there are also a couple other classes aside from condensed and striped. So I recommend that you go check those out on the Bootstrap website. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later.